The first Noel didn't go so well for me. Honestly, <laughs> I hate to be honest, but I gotta be. You see, I knew the child of prophecy was the only one capable of stopping me. So I made it my mission to destroy God's progeny, but God was on to me. Strategically moving Mary and Joseph across geography to make my attempts to kill the baby obsolete. The Lord's eye constantly watching me. His hand constantly blocking me from annihilating the divine human hybrid anomaly. I ought to be the most high. Now I'm just the most high wannabe. Yes, me. Why the confused faces? Come on, you almost have heard of me. Lucifer, seducer, accuser, schemer, deceiver, the enemy, your adversary, father of lies, lord of the flies. Y'all must know Diablo. I don't need no intro, right? All right, fine. I'm the serpent who got you cursing the soul person who was virgin birth to this earth to cure your hurting and carry your burdens. I'm the thief that comes only to steal, kill, and destroy, but the word became flesh so that you might have life to the fullest. I am so glad that you think the Christmas story is stupid and that those who believe it are foolish. I got you rejecting the real reason for the season. Got you trading your Hosanna for Ho 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 Santa, as if Santa Claus can save you when Satan claws at your eternal soul. My bad, y'all. I gotta be carried away. Anyway, let's rewind and then replay what happened back in the day when the Agnes Day was no more than a babe. The world prior to Christ's arrival was just how I like it. Submerged in darkness with no way of escape, but then Feliz Navidad. On that silent night, that holy night, Yahweh made a way in a manger. The light was born and brought joy to the world, but he didn't bring a lick of it for me. Oh no, his arrival only brought me misery. I knew the Messiah could one day empower you to abandon Abaddon and Apollo Apollyon, so I had to act while the true heir to the throne was still adorable, vulnerable, feeble, susceptible to lethal evil. I coerced King Herod to command his infantry to kill all male infants in Bethlehem and its vicinity. King Herod proved to be a useless tool. By the time he took his last breath, he had never gotten to put God's only begotten son in a coffin to rot in. It wasn't long before the boy went from firstborn of all creation to firstborn of the dead. I mean, this kid really emerged from the womb to one day emerge from the tomb, born to die so that you might be born again. It's no wonder his followers call him wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. His birth was the beginning of the end for me. <laughs> uh, what, you surprised that I can quote scripture from these lips? How else would I make you misinterpret certain verses if I didn't already know them to begin with? Uh, but I'm glad you don't believe in all that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm glad you don't even believe in me. Emmanuel's coming might have led to my defeat, but if you don't think I'm real, then you'll likely assume that his birth was worthless, that it served no purpose. So keep on thinking that I'm imaginary. Keep on thinking that I've never lived. After all, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he didn't exist. <laughs>